Rhinebill is now online. What is good, fam? Today I'm gonna teach you how to make random numbers using JavaScript. You probably cringe a little bit there. I did too, so it's all good. First things first, you wanna open up a HTML tag, a body tag, and close both of those. Now in between your body tag, you want to open up a paragraph tag and you're going to slap an ID on this and call it number. We're going to refer to this in the JavaScript. Then go ahead and close off the tag, just like I am about to do. So below this, we're going to open up a basic button. If you don't know how to do this, you might want to check my past videos out to know how to do this. Ongoing, this button is going to reference the random number. So when you click the button, it gives you a random number. So just copy down what I have down and voila. Actually, on a serious note, go check that video out. I'm looking for some serious YouTube views down here. Just kidding. It's all about you knowing how to do it. That's all I care about. So just below the end of the body tag, you want to open up a new tag called script. This is where your JavaScript is going to be. Okay, and in your script, you want to open up the function that we called from the button. So we're going to type in function, space, and then we're going to copy random, open up some brackets, close up those brackets, and then open up some curly brackets to close that up. And this is now a function. Easy? Yeah, it's just that. If you remember from one of my previous video how to display a number using JavaScript, this is going to be really familiar to you. So what we're doing here is using the math whatever to create a random number and then we're displaying it using the paragraph. That's why we have that paragraph up there. So just go ahead and type what I have right now and you should see it working very soon. Okay, I'm just gonna tell you now, I made a mistake in this set of code. I'm gonna let you figure it out, but in the end, I'm gonna tell you what it is, and then you can see it working. So, what this number here means, the number 100, it simply is saying the maximum number it could randomize to. So it could randomize from 0 to 100, or it could go 0 to 10, 0 to 12, so literally randomizes number in between those two points. That's why I left it at 100. So this means you can raise this value as big or as small as you want. So now I'm just going to move on to the style. There's really nothing here. It's just basic stuff. I'm going to change the font size of the numbers so it can be clearly seen so and it can get a better thumbnail. Also, I'm going to raise the size of the button so it also could be seen in a thumbnail too. So now we're 
pretty much done this whole thing, but the mistake is still there. If you found it out, you could fix it. But those of you that don't know what it is, I'm gonna show you, so keep tuned. So we wanna go ahead and save your file. You wanna go up, Control S to go up to file, do it the old fashioned way, whatever you want, and then you wanna open it up. Oh, I forgot to save it as .html. You guys remember that. Never forget to save it as .html unless it's not going to work. So now you open your file, you should see a button in the top left corner. And when you click this, you will find out it does not work. Those of you who figured it out know that I accidentally typed in a times key where it shouldn't be. So let's go back and fix it. Come back and refresh your page, you will now find out your button now works. Now when I first click it, it initially gives me the number 62. As you click it, you find out it keeps randomizing numbers between 0 and 100. And that's how to do it guys, it's your boy Rainbow here, giving you the best tutorials on HTML, and thanks for watching guys! Join the Rainbow family if you haven't. Be my sixth subscriber. I really appreciate it. Until next time, Rainbow out.